Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So the International Women's Day Boss Rush Challenge has dropped and many of, many of you have guessed it. And yes, I do have a boss fight in there, but we'll go over that in a hot minute. So I thought I would take the time to go over all of the boss fights, who designed each one, what the nodes are, and what are the good counters for each node. So the first fight that we go up against is X23, and this is a special thanks to Madam Grant, yes, Laura Grant, Mrs. Banana herself. She created this fight and X-23 has Matador, Spite, Godslayer, and Indomitable. So with Matador, the only way you're gonna gain power is by X-23 throwing a special. And then with Indomitable, um, she's got her healing abilities. They can't be reversed. They can only be heal blocked. Um, of course, Spite, if you have active buffs, they're gonna gain power, which will work out in your favor because believe it or not, X-23, she does not have a special three. It is like you are fighting in Realm of Legends. So use this to your advantage. Now, you can really use any champ here. Um, Ghost, obviously, good, get those big numbers in. Corvus, so the really fun thing about Corvus with this fight is you can essentially just dex, let her gain power for spite, bait out those specials, and just throw your special two. It's like two special twos and a special one, and that's what gets her down. Or a special two and a special one, depending on her regen, what she's got, how, how often that triggers. So it's kind of a really fun match. I really do enjoy this match. So kudos to Laura for this one, because this is really the only super easy fight. <laughs> you guys will face. <laughs> um, but you can use any real champ here. Um, we all know Corvus is king, so you can come in here and get charged up um, with the mutant charge for, <laughs> for some of the next fights that are to come to help you out if you are going to bring in your Corvus. But see, she threw her special three. Oh, and one thing I want to mention too about this. So if she does go up to three bars of power, she will launch her special two and then she can instantly launch her special one. And she did do that to me a couple times. I went through here um, a bunch of different times trying to figure out who are the best champs to do this. So she can do that. So be mindful. It's almost like fighting Juggernaut in Realm of Legends. You know how sometimes he'll, when he gets to the third bar of power in Realm of Legends, he'll launch the special two and then instantly launch the special one. Now, Omega Red, he's another really good option for this. You can just, you know, kind of stand next to her and watch her melt throw that degen on so this really isn't a hard fight so um if you think they're all like this i apologize you are mistaken <laughs> so but really any champ will uh work for this fight you can bring in four stars here which you'll see in a minute um but it's really not that bad of a fight use the baiting out specials to your advantage cap is a really good option for this as well as you can um you know petrify you know get that going so <clears throat> you'll sh you won't uh, reverse the heal it'll just put a heal block on so you kind of want to make sure of that since the indomitable is on it you can't really reverse her healing so it's kind of a bummer in that way but you'll just heal block her instead so who says yondu's not viable look at this little four star go to work guys look at that heal block look at that heal block yondu's a great option for this fight because when she's regening if you launch her special one you will heal block her for 20 seconds instead of 10. all right so the next fight we have is medusa and this was created by ms kat murdoch the master of artistry um and Medusa Medusa's got Counter Strike, Pilfer, Regeneration, Invade, and Cornered. So don't let this chick hit into your block. Um, don't let her, do not block a special. You're better off just eating the special instead of blocking it because it's chances are if it's a special two, it's over, game over. So just be wary of the corner, um, the counter strike. So with the counter strike, I didn't have too much of an issue with it with the five stars, but with the four stars I did and you'll see why. So with the counter strike, if you dexed to dodge an attack, you're gonna gain a passive fury charge. At 10 fury charges, um, they are lost and and Medusa becomes unblockable for 15 seconds. So, but obviously um, any class advantage against her is gonna be great. Remember to hit into that block. Uh, Doom's a good option for this, but you can see the amount of block damage that I took it, which, which was a pretty good bit. So don't let this chick hit into your block. Make sure you hit into her block. Now, she does not have parry. So 
use that auto block to your advantage just be careful though if she does it when she has any um power when she has any has oh excuse me when she has any full bar of power that she doesn't spell doesn't throw it <laughs> i cannot talk <laughs> so just be mindful of that but use that auto block to your advantage and look at corvus look at corvus just uh hitting into her block man i mean corvus is og when it comes to invade even not charged up he's doing like 10k mediums i mean that's that's wild right so if you have a corvus um that x23 fight you can get hit get him charged up on her so he'll do a little bit more damage but just hit into that block man you won't you won't lose charges so he's a great option for this just another reminder don't block her hits work on your intercepting and here's okay so little starkey's coming in four star starkey and he puts in some work right so this is where i'm talking about with the counter strike because with the four star i do get it and there you can see she became unblockable but starkey if you can build up his poise charges even though you will probably get her to go unblockable there he is still a good option to take her down so now we're moving on to Wasp, and this is a special thank you to Ms. Insomnia. So Wasp has Spiked Armor, Dismay, Enhanced Shock, and Plague Mind. So with the Dismay, Wasp is kind of tricky with Dismay, right? Because when she evades, she puts a shock on you, and that's technically a hit. So you will get the Enhanced Shock, and you will get the Dismay, and you'll see later, not this fight, but later, how much that dismay damage does. So um, it's it's a pretty good chunk. So the, your best bet is to come in here with and just do medium mediums. That's what I did with Nick until I could bait out her heavies or her specials. So that way her little timer goes down and just be mindful of when her um, her uh, evade goes into cooldown. When it's active again, just do mediums. Uh, medium mediums or someone with a quick heavy. Now Omega is good for this because you can just kind of do the, um, not only can you do, uh, put a DJ in, there we go, words kitty, on her from her heavy, but he takes no damage from his tentacle hits from that spiked armor. So you could bring in someone like him. Um, Havoc is a good option. Crossbones, you know, crossbones doesn't crit. So he would be a good option for that spiked armor. And also you could bring in someone like Black Widow. She would be another really good option for this fight if you have a high sig Black Widow. So I'm just trying to hear, you just want to bait out those special ones. Don't push her to her special two. You're going to take a lot of damage from it, even if it's just block damage. So bait out those special ones, bait out those heavies to try to get those five hit combos in. Um, if you can't remember, do medium mediums. Now Warlock is like MVP for almost this entire boss rush. So if you have a Warlock, kudos, you are good to go. But Warlock's got that quick heavy and he also puts a bleed on her. So he's just really great for this. Um, he's also got the power control and you know once you get her armor broken he hits pretty hard after that so I mean Warlock is really the MVP for this whole um, <laughs> boss rush in my opinion in my opinion someone other people might have a different opinion and that's totally legit right I just found him to be the most useful um, but anyway you know she's not she's not too bad um, but the, the fights are kind of getting a little bit tougher as we go on um, but I do really enjoy all of the nodes so far that the ladies have come up with um, you're gonna see here in a minute uh, what the dismay actually can do to you if she puts that if you get hit by it so oh cap infinity war he's another good one because he does a ton of damage off of his heavy so really you're only gonna have to worry about a couple heavies and she's gonna be dead or, or a couple heavies and one special two and that'll be it for wasp even though you probably won't get to your special two because of that plague mind so keep that in mind as well colossus he's another really good option he hits pretty darn hard off of his heavy because in all actuality unless you have a power gain champ like hype you're probably not going to get to those specials all right so thing you can see here i got sloppy with thing and i've got that dismay on me and it's ticking away for 310 so that dismay is not something to be messed with so and she can get you quick like did you guys see how quick that was and ghost so watch how bad watch how quick things just go bad there with ghost 
So here's Nick. Nick's heavy, um, it's kind of long. You can get it done, but she can evade it like she did right there. So there I got the enhanced shock and the dismay. So with Nick, if you're gonna come in with Nick, you're better off just doing the medium medium instead. Now Archangel, you got a four star Archangel. Dude, you're good to go. Um, just do the heavies, get those neuros on and let the neurotoxins do the work. All right, so now we're moving on to the next fight which is Emma Frost, and this is the fight that I created, so kudos to all of you who guessed Emma Frost. And I tried to, you know, get you off the scent. <laughs> but Emma has Kinetic Transference, Oscillate, Enhanced Special One, and Aggression Regeneration. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Um, so with kinetic transference, if you block an attack, she's going to gain power. With oscillate, she's going to go from um, aggressive when she has a fury up and when to um, defensive when she has an armor up. Um, enhanced special one, of course, her special one is unblockable. And because she's awakened, you're going to have reverse controls. And then that aggression regeneration can kind of be a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie, when she's in that defensive state, right? Because she's just going to be like tucked away regening up now i found warlock to be the best option for this um he's got that passive heal block so he'll deal with that aggression regen he's got the armor break and you've got power control so honestly i found warlock to be the best option for this now of course we all know how corvus is with her but we'll get into that in a minute but um overall she was fun she was she definitely took me back to when we first fought her in the uh in her first monthly event quest which you guys will see a video about that later <laughs> So obviously we all know what Corvus can do to Emma. He can basically keep her out of diamond form. So, but the uh, issue you have with that is every time you parry her, she's gonna gain power. So kind of keep that in mind it, because you're going to be um, dodging a lot more special attacks that way. So just kind of keep that in mind. But overall, like, especially if you have Corvus charged up from um, the mutant fight with X-23 and the evade fight with Wasp, you'll get two charges on him. So it'll make it um, a little bit easier. He'll hit a little bit harder. So keep that in mind. But overall, Corvus is also another solid option. Now, Void, Void, just get that reverse heal on and just let her tick away. I mean, look at that. She's essentially just killing herself and I'm she's in her defensive mode right there. Now, another thing I should mention too, that you should be wary of, and even a rank, this is my rank three five-star void. He's not a high sig at all. Um, a rank three five-star void can do it. Um, it's easier <laughs> with my rank two six-star but you can do it with a rank three void and get the reverse heal going and just let her kill herself. Um, one thing I want to mention though about this oscillate fight is she can and sometimes will throw her specials when she's in her defensive state. She doesn't always do it, but she will on occasion do it and it has caught me off guard um, on one occasion or maybe more than one. <laughs> and it's a nasty special to take to the face. So just be mindful of that. Now Omega works too here because you can just get those death spores on her and let her kind of tick away, especially when she's in her defensive state. Um, if you would rather push her to her special too, since that one is um, not unblockable, you can also do that. Um, Blade, when she first came out, Blade was kind of like one of the go-tos to fight her. So he, she, uh, he's another solid option against her. Cap, uh, he does a ton of damage. So he's another solid option against Emma. You can um, get the bleeds on her with a special one or launch your special too. Okay, so now we're moving on to Rogue and a special thanks goes out to Dragon from the UMCOC podcast. And Dragon, this fight, mm, kudos, girl. <laughs> so Rogue has aggression regeneration, much like Emma did. She has invade, like Medusa did. She has brawl and she has aspect of death. So aspect of death, when she throws a special, after she throws a special, one hit from her, that's it, game over, lights out, you done. Doesn't matter how much health you have left. Game over, man. <laughs> 
um, and that lasts for four seconds. And then with Brawl, so every 10 seconds, both you and her are going to go unstoppable and it is it lasts for five seconds. So there you can see she threw her special and she had the death touch going. So don't let her hit you with that, but just hit into her block. Be mindful though that um, she, of that uh, brawl timer because when you two go unstoppable and you guys are hitting each other, whew. Now I brought in Corvus here and oh, you're gonna see, uh, I think it's this one, something interesting. Maybe it was one of the ones that I didn't put in here. I can't remember. I've done so many fights. <laughs> um, but Corvus, as we all know, is great for invade because he just does a ton of damage when hitting into blocks i mean he's gonna be doing 10k mediums into a block so but look at how much health she took down just by hitting into my block like you're better off just standing there and taking a couple punches to the face instead so all right she launched her special one she's got that death touch going and you can see Thank goodness for Corvus's awakened ability with <laughs> those glaive charges because that is what saved me from that death touch. Had Corvus not been awakened, I would have been dead. Now you can come in here with She-Hulk and Spider-Gwen and try to put the slow debuff on, but because it is rogue, remember, rogue shrugs debuffs a lot faster than any champ so that slow debuff is going to be gone before the unstoppable comes on okay so now we are moving on to the final boss which is black widow clairvoyant and this a huge thank you goes out to starfighter for this fight and star gave black widow clairvoyant mighty charge safeguard empowered immunity matador <clears throat> and so with this fight this is kind of an interesting fight right um you will only do 1142 damage because of safeguard because every hit will the max damage you can deal is one percent so i messed up here and kept throwing special twos with cap now i do realize i was trying to get the stun on but um, all you're going to do, even with Cap's heavies, is 1,142 damage. That is the max. So it's going to be a long fight, just an FYI. And then with Empowered Immunity, um, if she receives a debuff that she's immune to, she generates 33% of a bar of power. So, and the way that Black Widow Clairvoyant works is she rotates in her immunities. So you kind of want to be mindful of that. Otherwise, she's going to be gaining power like crazy. Red Hulk is the OG for this fight because you build up those heat charges and you can bypass that safeguard. So you can see there with the heat charges, we're doing over 1,142 damage with the heat charges. So just launch your special ones, get up to 10 heat charges and just get ready to riggedy riggedy wreck Black Widow Clairvoyant. And also remember too, with Mighty Charge, any debuff that you're gonna, you're, uh, that you put on her, she's gonna shrug. So you're better off just not bringing in a champion that's gonna put on debuffs um, because she's just gonna shrug them. So the name of the game with her is get her backed into the corner and just go to town. Just don't let her get to that special three. Um, you're better off baiting off out the special ones over the special twos. The bleeds don't really do that, uh, do too much damage on you. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, Thing it does an okay job with this, but uh, the best champs that I have found for this are Red Hulk and someone else who you guys are going to be very surprised that I brought in. Now Ghost, Ghost works out okay. It's going to be another long fight with Ghost, so just be prepared for that. Um, it's definitely going to be a long fight with Ghost because you're not going to be able to do the normal amount of damage that you are used to doing with Ghost. But you can play around that mighty charge with Ghost if you're mindful. So here I was like, should I bring in Nick Fury? Let's bring in Nick Fury. Nope, don't bring in Nick Fury. <laughs> This is why you don't bring in Nick Fury. So look at all of the power that she's gaining because she is immune to that bleed. So that is why you don't want to bring in a champ with uh, who puts on a debuff that she is immune to. And the next best option, well, at least for me, besides Red Hulk, you got it, guys, Quake. Now, this is my rank three Quake. And listen, 
if I can quake her, you can quake her. <laughs> because we all know I may not be the best quake player, but quake can get it done. So you, if you have a 550 quake or um, even, so this is my 345 quake, you can uh, quake her down. But anyways, guys, that is it for the International Women's Day Boss Rush. I wanna give a huge thank you to Laura, Kat, Ms. Insomnia, Dragon and Starfighter for all of your fights. I had so much fun working with you guys and creating these fights. It was a blast. I hope we get to do it again soon. A huge thank you to Kabam for um, allowing me to participate in this. It was a blast. I can't thank you enough for that. But anyways, guys, that's all that I got. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of all of these fights? Who do you think are the best counters? Do you think we picked some fun nodes or are you very unhappy with us? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.